Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be making a super simple baking staple. I'm gonna be making fruit scones. You want to preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Mine's a fan oven or 220 degrees. What I've got in my bowl there is just 350 grams of self-raising flour that I've already sifted. And I'm just adding one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you just want to mix that together, just make sure it's all combined. Then you want to add 85 grams of cubed cold butter, definitely cold, to the dry ingredients. And then you sort of want to rub the butter into crumbs using your fingertips. What you don't want to do is sort of rub it in between your palms, a bit like I'm doing there. That's not a good idea. Try and keep it light with your fingertips. It will take a little while for it all to combine, but the aim is for it to feel like breadcrumbs, but you don't want to melt the butter in the process. Then I am adding three tablespoons of caster sugar. Then you want to pour 175 milliliters of milk into a heat proof jug, or I just use the mug, and just put it in the microwave or heat it up for 30 seconds, just until it's nice and warm, but not hot. You want to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a squeeze of lemon juice. I'm just making a well in my dry mixture and I'm going to add 100 grams of sultanas and my hot milk mixture into the dry mixture. Using a knife, I'm just combining the ingredients all together. You just want to lightly combine it, which is why we use a knife. I'm not really sure of the other reasons why we use a knife. If anyone knows, please let me know. Then you just want to lightly flour a surface and pop all your mixture onto the surface. Now, I was a tiny bit more rough with this than you probably ought to be. I sort of flattened it out and rolled it just because the wet and dry wasn't quite fully mixed as much as I wanted it to be. So I just rolled it a couple of times and flattened it and made it into a ball. Once I'd made it into a ball and I was happy with the distribution of it and everything, I started flattening it out. So instead of using a rolling pin, which you can do, but this just makes sort of nice, bigger, um, sort of more rustic looking scones, let's say. Just flatten it out with your fingertips and you want it to be around five centimetres deep, so quite thick ones. And then take a cookie cutter of your choice. You can either do the sort of normal side, which I've used, just the smooth side, or you can do the serrated side, completely up to you, different shapes doesn't really matter they do go a bit funky in the oven when you make them so don't expect them to come out the shapes that you've necessarily put them in as so this recipe I think was supposed to make around eight scones I did make them a little bit smaller and thinner than they were supposed to be so I did get a couple more out of them I think and then when you've got the last bit of mixture this is something that I always used to do is just pop the dough inside the cookie cutter and then put it on your sheet Again, it doesn't matter. They're gonna rise, they're gonna go weird shapes, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So then I just have one beaten egg and I just mix that together with a fork so it is all whisked up. And then you want to brush that on top of each of your scones just to make sure that they come out nice and golden. You want to put the tray in the oven for around 10 minutes and the top should be nice and golden. And that is it. So it literally takes around 15 minutes to make this recipe. It's so easy. Five minutes of prep time, 10 minutes of bake time, and when they're out of the oven and warm, that is the best time to enjoy them. I enjoyed mine with some strawberry jam and some homemade clotted cream, which I hadn't realised you could make homemade, but I've definitely learnt that now. If you would like me to do a video on how I make homemade clotted cream, let me know. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again next week.